Hey. Guys. I'm not doing mentally well right now. Kill me right fucking now. Anyways, I'm pale as a ghost because I have barely slept this week and I am depressed this week. But it's fine. I'll get through it. Um, we'll, we'll do the little intro in here with my fan on in the background. But then we'll go to the kitchen because I'm hungry as fuck. But um, I planned a couple videos and then like they were like most of them were like vlogs or like stuff like that and they fell through and so I was like yesterday I was with my friend at her new apartment um, with her boyfriend and I've known them both for almost four years and they're only 20 I'm 19 um, I went to school with them uh, for sixth form and I just kind of had like a lot of realizations during that I guess so I kind of wanted to talk about that and obviously if you can't tell by the title of this video it's about adulting it's about being an adult and what that feels like and what that consists of because you're an adult once you're 18 and I'm 19 and a half yeah gross so I don't know everything I don't know a thing on it I don't know a thing but this is just how I feel in my current adult status which will I know when I'm 25 I'll look back at this and think oh you were a fucking idiot okay kind of, yeah anyway so let's go to the kitchen because I'm so hungry I actually look like a wet rat well adulting rule number one drink water I truly don't know what to eat today, so if there's nothing in this house, it looks like we're starving, y'all. Because I just don't have the energy to order something in. Wow. This is actually a great start. I'm such an incredible adult. I clearly know what I'm fucking doing with my life. What's up? I'm just going to tell you, like, the kind of realizations I had yesterday whilst I was at my friend's house. So, like I said, we've known each other for four years, so from 16 until 20 basically and those are very pivotal moments they've seen me come out of a long-term relationship be single for a while and now in another long-term relationship and they've seen me at my worst when it comes to my conditions my health you know they've seen me through probably the most pivotal things in my life as of yet um, and they kind of just happen to happen at this age, but I do think that these ages anyway are like super significant. Anyways, um, so I live with my parents. I'm 19. I'm, you know, I have no interest in moving out right now. I work for myself. And if anyone who works for themselves say no, unless they're a big business already, that the startup or the first couple years are like this, you know? with money, with um, an audience, with just like everything is just like that at the beginning. Um, I am in my second year of uni, which feels really weird to say, but I am basically, I call myself a half student because I'm only in one day a week because of my health conditions. Um, I was going to drop out and they said that I could do that instead. Um, and I'm in a relationship with someone I've been in love with for a year. And it's just like, it feels like nothing's happened, but it feels like everything has happened. Like where I was this time a year and a half ago is just a completely different world. You know, I was not even at uni yet. I was, I didn't know the person I'm with. It's just very weird to think about it all. And my friend, her boyfriend has a very, prestigious high status kind of job which allowed them to move out very young and early and they're just two really amazing people that I love with all my heart kind of like lifelong friends and you know she's talking to me about what it's like because they just moved in like a month ago and 
she was like, you know, bills are a fucking nightmare, this, this, that, and the other, but that isn't, to us at least, like, what adulting is. Like, it doesn't depend on the bills and stuff. And I know you're thinking, Mia, what bills do you fucking pay? You live with your parents. I pay my phone bill, it's like my dick. And so it's kind of like you're left guessing what is adulting because when you're growing up you're kind of told okay well owning your own place is adulting and getting married is adulting and having kids is adulting and although I want all those things I'm an adult now as well they don't tell you like oh at 18 they expect such such and such and this is what's probably going to happen to you um so for me just like adulting is emotional intelligence i guess and it's also like really looking after yourself is such an adult thing you know looking after your health and looking after your mental health especially and also being so patient with yourself because it's like you beat yourself up so much and then you realize you're only doing that because either society has told you what you've done is or what you're like is wrong or you know childhood trauma people have told you growing up that you can't talk too much or you know those kinds of examples and it's like you have to kind of reteach yourself everything as an adult and also no one really mentions what it's like to kind of grow up and parent your parents like I'm like my friend who I went to see her dad has had cancer for a while and she looks, she's looked after him her whole life and also, like, so like, that forced her to grow up very quickly, obviously, but also me, like, as soon as I turned into, turned 18, I had to kind of turn around and, and set boundaries and rules with my parents. And it's like, you don't, when you're younger, you don't ever get told anything along those lines that you're going to do those things or that you need to do those things. So you're kind of stuck thinking, that, well this is weird and like I feel like most people who don't have the relationship that I have with my parents would be terrified to do that and kind of do things to avoid doing it like moving out <laughs> whereas like I'm probably gonna live here for at least another year so setting those boundaries is really important and I know that this is so not structured at all it's literally just a small rant but it is important and it's weird and it's funny like my friend is 20 living in her own little flat with her boyfriend and it's like you know I truly believe that they are gonna you know be together for the rest of their life they've been together for three years already and so it's like you're with your forever person and I really are I really do think I am with my forever person as well and it's like that's so weird and overwhelming and because most people, I mean, when you're growing up, you'll get told, oh, you, you know, you might not find your person until you're such and such old or, you know, don't have the expectation of being with the first handful of people that you find or you're with. Or, and it's like, I'm 19 and I've found someone who I truly think I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And like... When you're younger, you say that when you're with other people. Like when I was dating people at 16 and stuff, you say that, but you don't actually feel it. And I, I, I've i loved other people before, but not in this way. And also, you know, to this extent, but also I, I, I feel everything with this person and I didn't before. And it is partially because I was a fucking child. Like, you are a child at 16. You you, you want to act like an adult because you're torn between, you know, being forced to grow up really quickly in, in schools, in, you know, maybe your household or, you know, things like that. And then, and then you're treated like a child in other moments. And so you're conflicted and you don't know how to grow up, essentially. And then you turn 18 and you're like, okay, this is the real deal, I'm 18, I'm an adult now, and you, you kind of turn around and you go to yourself, okay, well, what now? And what I've realized is life just kind of happens to you. Like, you can't control a thing. As much as you want to, you, you can't. It's kind of like 
life gives you stuff and then other stuff it will give you decisions you know choose between two paths kind of thing and then it's that's the only choice you can kind of make it's like half predestined and then half you, you, you can go your own way, that kind of thing, you know? I had to add Fleetwood Mac in there, didn't I? Uh, guys, I don't know what to eat. <laughs> Adulting is eating soup in a, your literal grand's nightdress. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I just... If you're younger than 18, or if you're even like my age or older and you don't know what the fuck you're doing, I don't think anyone will ever know what they're doing. But I like to say that we are literally on a floating rock in space, so nothing actually matters when you put it into the retrospect. But there's a reason I work for myself and there's a reason I look after myself and there's a reason I prioritise things like my relationship and family and friendships over things like university because things like getting a degree don't actually matter to me as much and that doesn't mean I'm not grateful for it or that I wouldn't work my best at it because I am and I get great grades because I'm good at what I fucking do but it just means like I'm not here in this life to get a degree it's not my purpose school isn't my purpose it's a fraction of my life and it ruined so much of my childhood. And so now I'm an adult, I can kind of say, okay, now I want to take as much control as I can over this very uncontrollable thing called life and, and prioritize what is right for me. And for me, that's my relationship, my friends, my family, you know, me as a human being, you know, this, this is the kind of stuff that's important to me. And you know what, in five years it might completely change. I might get a normal job. No, I won't. I might, you know, have a fucking child. I might not live here anymore. It's just, there's no point thinking about all that and also about the past when you're just like, get like, be in the moment basically. And for me, another thing I will say to every single human being, whatever your age or anything, get therapy please please i beg you get therapy therapy i have two therapists i love therapy and it helps so much and i've seen it help so many people and i don't fucking mean cams if you're in the uk cams are shit fuck you um but just like a proper therapist just get therapy everyone needs it and it, the be the younger you, you get therapy the better i've had therapy since i was 13 and there is so much trauma in life, <laughs> so much to fucking unpack that you don't realise and like there is so much I've only realised after turning 19 or 18 and that when I was 13 I couldn't comprehend and then I went through more and then it's like life is a constant like cycle of trauma and good stuff and trauma and good stuff and then so it's like you have to work through the trauma to really appreciate the good stuff instead of moping it and it's really hard being an adult, <laughs> but it's worth it. And I just wanted to come on here and rant about how weird growing up is. I don't know. I also still look like a rat and I really am dehydrated. I was gonna violate myself so much and be like, I'm an adult that can't drive or cook properly, but. I really need a therapy session today. Okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. If you did, please feel free to like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. My socials are below. I love you and I hope to see you in my next video.